Hey guys, Nikolai here. Before we begin, I'd like to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Pro Guides. If you haven't heard about Pro Guides before, they're the easiest way to master League of Legends quickly and effectively. They're backed by some of the biggest professional players and they have detailed courses for any concept you're struggling with. If you have any questions after watching a video, you can use Genius, where a master or challenger player will immediately answer any questions you have. Overall, Pro Guides is a great way to hit your dream rank, and I think it's an awesome way to save time, learn quickly, and it really pays for itself. So make sure to check out Pro Guides with the link in the description, and with that being said, let's jump into the video. In 2016, Riot Games officially opened up a server for the country of Japan two years after having become the most played video game in the world. This was a great move by Riot, because Japan is home to one of the biggest gaming cultures in the world. So of course Japan wants to play League of Legends. Despite having a population of 127 million people, and being one of the countries who consume the most gaming content in the world, only 100,000 people came to play League of Legends on the Japanese server after two years of it being live, which is the smallest player base of any official Riot server. And just to give you some context, this is how Japan's numbers compare with other regions. So guys, grab your waifu pillow and some Japanese snacks as we find out why the people of Japan have no interest in League of Legends, what are people in Japan actually playing, and we'll also be taking a look at Riot's recent ad campaign in Japan to bring the Japanese people to League of Legends. Before we can understand why Japan isn't playing League of Legends, we have to understand what they are playing. And some of you might already be thinking that they're playing Fortnite, but they actually aren't playing Fortnite either. Instead, Japan's highest source of gaming comes from mobile games. And the highest downloaded app, the most played game in Japan today, is a Chinese clone of PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds called Knives Out. This game has been the most played game in Japan for almost all of 2018. When Fortnite came out on mobile platforms, it actually challenged Knives Out for a moment, but quickly went back down to being irrelevant in Japan. As of making this video, Knives Out has consistently been in the top 5 most grossing and top downloaded apps in Japan, along with being number 1 multiple times. Fortnite on the other hand has struggled to even be a top 100 app in Japan. But moving on, League of Legends isn't available on mobile so it can't really be compared or mentioned with Knives Out. So to get a better idea, let's check out the PC gaming scene in Japan. In Japan, 28% of male gamers play on PC at least once a month, along with 15% of female gamers. However, in comparison to the only two gaming markets on top of Japan, their PC player base numbers look tiny. It's also interesting to note that PC gaming within females in Japan seems to not be very popular at all. Does that mean there are no Janamains in Japan? XDDD. Regardless, now that we know all of that information, we can now go back to focus on League of Legends in Japan. Like I said earlier, there is more or less 100,000 active players on the Japanese server. But a major issue this server faced when it officially opened was an influx of people from other regions coming to play, including your average American weeaboo. Because actually moving to Japan can cost a lot of money, but moving your account from the North American server to the Japanese server only cost a handful of RP. So, it makes sense. Take this comment from a Reddit post about this topic, for example. As a survivor of the opening of the Japanese server, I can say that it was 90% Chinese, Korean, and Taiwanese players looking to crush noobs. The Chinese have an ungodly amount of bots that are farming IP and levels to sell accounts. The Japanese have stopped talking altogether or started pretending to be Chinese to troll. They also refer to the Japanese server as League of China. Hopefully things are better now, but it's a long road ahead for the Japanese server. And a long road it has been. 
but that road is still not complete. Road work ahead? Uh, yeah, I sure hope it does. Here's a post made one year after the release of the server pointing out that because of the lack of players on the server, the Japanese ranked ladder had 200 challenger players, just 4 master players, and 210 players in Diamond 1. A comment on the same post pointed out that EUW's masters plus challenger population is about the same size of the Japanese Diamond 4 and up population. But okay, let's come all the way back. Let's go back to square one. Here we are in Japan, it's 2016 and Riot is about to open up a new server for a new region. How do you, as Riot Games, promote this server to new potential players in Japan? Well, you make a kick-ass League of Legends anime to get everyone hype and actually this is a Chinese fan-made video. Riot Games essentially did nothing in terms of promoting the game to new Japanese players. I don't like to speak from opinion, but I can only imagine that Riot thought the game was well known enough that the server would just populate itself without any additional promotion. But Riot is aware of this and they're trying to fix it. Since the beginning of August, Riot has started an ad campaign pushing League of Legends to new players in Japan. And if this guy can't make Japan play League of Legends, I don't know what will. Take a look yourself. ロルクンですよね。あ、はい。この間のイベントはなんかすごかったですね。ああ、すみません。もしかしてプレイしてるんですか？リーグオブレジェンド。いや、それがまだがっかりですよね。いえ、別にゲームで味わえる要素のほと
But alright guys, as always, thank you so much for watching my videos. If you liked what you saw and want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to drop a like, subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when I post my next video. Special thanks again to Pro Guides for sponsoring this video, make sure to check them out. But most of all, just thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Peace.